I back for round two of our triple Ravnica mono mill rough drafts, and uh, we'll we'll mulligan this. New boy. All right, we'll try this. Land on top, please. Mm, all right, scry to the bottom. So we have good removal, but our hand doesn't do anything except kill stuff at the moment. Mountain for our opponent. Well, luckily Mountain is pretty bad. Uh, and by Mountain, I mean red decks in this <laughs> Oh boy. No matter how bad our opponent's deck is. And I mean, it is possible. If no one's drafting red, you can build a good red deck. But red, I think, is the worst color in this set. Oh, this is looking sketchy. Luckily, we have a lot of cheap removal, which might be enough if we draw lands. But aggro is probably our worst matchup. Uh, well, Torpid Moloch, not super exciting. Oh dear. Well, we can kill things, and Torpid Moloch is not a real magic card, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll keep taking one for now from War Torch Goblin. I don't even think it's worth spending a removal spell on at this point. Although, it might come to that eventually. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Land? Ah. Uh, okay. Let's play Thought Picker Witch. <laughs> Pass the turn. Oh man, I've never been so happy to see... Why is our opponent playing these? Sack three lands is a massive cost. Like, an unpayably high cost. We might have to Thought Picker ourselves. It feels bad, but it is a way we can make sure we get a land. How do we lose? Are we... Oh, well, let's wait one more turn. We're only taking one a turn, because our opponent's aggro deck is playing mono defenders. Bona passes. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Oh, uh, boy. Now we might have to definitely thought picker ourselves. Pona has a planes. The problem is our disembowels aren't going to do anything unless we... Yeah, all right, block the goblin. I guess we could just trade with it. Oh, this is only opponent's library? Oh, boy. Reading the card. Dot, dot, dot. All right, let's kill it. Our opponent can sack it to kill our thought picker witch, which I guess is still fine. For some reason, I thought this was target player's library, but the fact that it targets opponent library means it doesn't help us find lands, and we're kind of in even more trouble. Although, I think trading Disembowel for Wojcik Siren is probably fine. Wow. Alright, doesn't even kill our Thought Picker Witch. They must have a 3-drop they want to play. <laughs> These Moloks. Yep. We'll draw lands eventually. The old saying is, Mana Screw beats Mana Flood, so we will put that theory to the test. Bona passes. Ha ha! No, we still need another land to actually cast anything, but pass the turn. I just want to see our opponent sack all their lands to get in for three. Opponent. The Screeching Griffin. Well, we're going to kill that. Opponent's also down to three cards in hand. Well, play Lurking Informant. Technically, that's another way we can find lands. Pass the turn. Okay, our opponent's deck looks really bad. But I'm a little worried they'll have some huge unbeatable bomb. Not a land. Alright, lore broker. <laughs> we are doing this the hard way. The only good news is our opponent's deck. I have no idea how they won round one with two Torpid Molochs in their deck. They're obviously trying to be aggro, but Torpid Moloch is so bad. Opponent passes. Alright, there's a land. So let's just play conservatively, pass the turn. Our opponent's not doing anything. We could run out Circu, but leaving up removal, un lurking informant, and lore broker seems like a good plan. Okay. Things with one power. So let's do this at our opponent. Uh, we'll mill the planes. Loot with lore broker. We'll discard Dismisser. Ooh, Excruciator. That is a bit expensive. Kill this Commando. Now I think we get down... Ooh, never mind. Pass the turn. Since we drew Induce Paranoia, we can just leave that up, keep activating our mill creatures, and win that way. So if our opponent does have a huge bomb, Induce Paranoia is a great answer to it. Opponent passes. What is in our opponent's deck? I do not under... <sighs> 
<laughs> Excruciator Torpid Moloch. I have never seen such a thing. So target our opponent. Reroute. Okay. You're going to change the target to me? What is going on? Sure. Well, we will smooth out our draw. I guess our opponent just really wanted to cycle. Yeah, I guess we can leave Turniki on top. Let's loot. Discard Tatter Drake for now. Draw Swamp. Do we want to start playing things? All right, play Swamp. I think we just keep going like this until we cast this Induce Paranoia, and then we'll start playing stuff from our hand. Our opponent's got to have huge expensive things in their hand, which means we should be able to mill a ton of cards when they cast them. Raider Forgeling. All right, Resolves. We can just disembowel that. I guess we don't even have to yet, so let's... Or do we? Yeah, let's just kill it. I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Keep on eluding. At some point, we can thought uh, start thought pickering, maybe? All right, we'll just discard the land. Ooh, Keening Banshee. Pass the turn. I mean, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. It's slow and not pretty, but it's seeming pretty effective. Spark Mage Apprentice. Okay. I guess that can kill our Thought Picker Witch. Oh, <laughs> going face. Okay. Uh, that's acceptable, too. And... Uh, yep. We're not really planning on dealing damage to our opponent, so that's fine. Mill our opponent with Lurking Informant. Screeching Griffin. Yep. Definitely milled. Lore Broker. One, two, three, four. So we need two more lands to be able to Keening Banshee and leave up Induce Paranoia. We also have a Signet that counts as a land. We're also getting our opponent pretty low on cards in hand, and then Lore Broker becomes super free value. We get drawn to our, like, discard two thing. Ooh. Hmm. All right, let's get rid of Turniki. Play the Swamp. Pass the turn. We'll just keep doing the same thing, leaving up Induce Paranoia. One more land, we can start playing spells and leaving up Induce Paranoia. I think the only way we lose from here is to some ungodly huge bomb. I don't think our opponent can just, can beat us otherwise. So I feel pretty safe just leaving up Induce Paranoia all the time. Opponent, gonna get frisky with Spark Mage Apprentice. Whoa. Okay. Uh, sure, we'll take two. Down to 14. Recruiter. Come on, run out that last card. Well, that's Lurking Informant. Uh, yes, we would like to mill Rally the Righteous. Loot with Lore Broker. Now we're mostly just looking for a land. We might actually just discard Circu. I don't know if we need Circu to win now. Ooh, consult the Necro Sages. Uh, let's get rid of Tidewater Minion. There's a land. So now we can... Let's play Circu for now. Next turn we can Keening Banshee. This still lets us leave up Induce Paranoia. I think we're an induced paranoia away from winning if our opponent casts something big. Pass the turn. At some point, our opponent's probably going to have to sack all their lands and just go for broke. But once they do, they lose their ability to play magic. So they got to make it count once they go for it. Opponent. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Now yeah, let's just block there. Take two. I don't know what trick our opponent has. I think next turn we actually just consult the Necro Sages to empty our opponent's hand. Okay, <laughs> protection from a color. That's fine. And let's Lurking inform it. Mill, loot, discard land, Necro Sages, make our opponent discard, exile a couple cards. Oh, we might actually just be able to win here. Opponent discards. I guess we could have made our opponent draw cards. Maybe that made more sense. Lurking Informant. I think this wins. So Lurking Informant comes down. Exile two cards. Sack Lurking Informant. Opponent's down to three cards. Sack Lurking Informant. Opponent's down to two cards. Sack Thought Picker Witch. Oh, they did have Razia. Opponent's down to one card. Lore Broker. Puts our opponent to zero cards. <laughs> uh, our opponent has a very odd mix. They have like a million one drops and then a bunch of eight drops. 
So sweet. Uh, eight drops. Eight drops, eight drops. Good thing we have counters for those. So we got to be aware of the bombs, and we got to not die to the turn, early turn rush. Kind of makes me think, well, hmm, what can we go down? We got good removal. Infiltrator is actually a pretty good blocker in this scenario. We were stuck on two lands for a long time, too. Maybe we just run it back? Do we actually need to change anything? We didn't see much real removal. Nice part about playing Mill is you get to see your opponent's entire deck. We could go down Dismisser is pretty slow for Infiltrator. Maybe we just do that and run it like that. So survive the early game creatures. Don't die to the bombs. That's our plan. All right. I mean, we get some early game blockers, which is nice. Mountain for our opponent. Where's the Moloch? Let's just Swamp and Thought Picker Witch. Pass the turn. Our opponent, Rozzy is very good. Our opponent's a uh, Eviscerator or whatever it is. Not as good. Slasher, A. Eh? I'll play an Island. Play Infiltrator. Pass the turn. Pretty good at blocking Vashino Slasher. Planes for our opponent. We don't have as much removal this game. I mean, we're definitely blocking. And then next turn we get to draw three. Or draw two. And one for our turn. I mean, if our opponent's going to use tricks to kill Demir Infiltrator, that is acceptable. Eh, alright, no tricks. Lots of follow-up. Caregiver. Ooh, Disembowel's sweet. I, well, we're going to wait on Disembowel. We're just going to draw two. Well, there's our lands. We have plenty of them. Mountain for our opponent. Sticking with the plan. Alright, no attacks. Uh, commando, A. Eh? Well, play a swamp, pass the turn. We can't actually deal with the commando yet. Next turn, we can start killing things, though. Because our opponent can just prevent the damage, so we wouldn't actually kill it. So I think we got to take four here, unfortunately. Oh, opponent's getting frisky. All right, let's block there. Down to 16. Oh, this card's not very good either. But there's more of them. So many of them. Another Disembowel's nice. Play the land past the turn. I wonder if we can get a free kill on one of these if we block block. Definitely would trade either of our creatures for, well, yeah, I guess they can only prevent the damage once, even with Caregiver. So I think we just do that if they attack, and then trust that Disembowel can fizzle the trick. So block and block... Yeah, I don't know about this attack from our opponent. Maybe they have a trick, a pump spell, that they're planning on using. So, that works. We get to disembowel this thing. Fizzle the Radiance of Bathe and Light. Would give all red creatures protection from black, I assume. So, unless our opponent has another trick, we got rid of both of these commandos. And are still only taking two damage. And we only lose Infiltrator, which is good, but... Opponent passes. We keep drawing lands. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Let's just Tatter Drake here. Pretty good on defense, thanks to regeneration. Although, I don't know if I'll do it this turn. Removal spell plus damage could kill it. And we'd like this to live and block for many turns to come. Where's the Molux? It's a Screeching Griffin. Sure. We haven't found any mill cards yet. Opponent passes. Ooh, Lore Broker's nice. Let's play Lore Broker. Looting through our deck sounds like a good plan. And we'll just pass the turn. Probably end up taking two from Griffin if our opponent's willing to pay. Because they make it so our Tatter Drake can't block it. So we are going to have to kill it eventually. Opponent goes attacking, goes attacking. Okay. Well, I guess we block there. What, are they planning on sacking Caregiver? Ah, I see. Yeah, that is a way to kill our Tatter Drake. Yeah, I guess you got us, in a sense. And pumps. Alright, so we're down to 13. We do get to start looting. Tidewater Minion's pretty good. Let's just play Tidewater Minion. Play the land, pass the turn. So we are taking a hit from the Screeching Griffin. Not sure if we're going to loot. If we were just looting for ourselves, we definitely loot. But the fact that 
our opponent gets to loot two, and we don't really want to discard either of these. Makes me not want to loot here. So we'll take two. Down to 11. Greater Forgeling. Yeah, no loots. We draw Lurking in format. Now let's Brainspoil the Forgeling. Play Lurking in format. And pass the turn. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting super close. We still have a removal spell left in hand. We'd love to just draw our last gasp to get rid of this Screeching Griffin instead of having to use a real removal spell. Yep, down to nine. We'd also love for our opponent to get empty-handed. And then we have free reign to loot for value. Come on, play your last card. No deal. Well, let's play Entrancer. Pass the turn. So we got some milling assembled. We're not going to activate Lurking Informant yet. Opponent plays land. Come on, just run out your 8-drop. You know you wanna. Ooh, it's Razia. Hmm, that actually beats us, doesn't it? Alright. Oh boy, that is unfortunate. Opponent attacks, opponent attacks. So we need to untap. So now we have to find a removal spell for Razia this turn. We do have a lot of removal spells that can do it. Kill that thing. I think this also means we need to upkeep activate Lurking Informant targeting ourselves. If we can kill Razia, our odds of winning are extremely high. We have Last Grasp Brain Spoil. We get to Lurking Informant and loot twice if need be. So stop on our upkeep, lurking informant, removal spell, please. Uh, yes, we will draw last grasp. Oh, thank goodness. Now we will untap lurking informant, target our opponent. We're not even interested in milling necessarily here. So our opponent can keep the mountain, and we will just kill Razia. Whoo! All right, I think we're good again. We know our opponent's only drawing a mountain next turn. That was scary. But now we just have to control our opponent's draws. Kind of like we're playing Lantern Control in Triple Ravnica Draft. That's the plan we're on now. Mill, Videlkin Entrancer is our random janky mill artifact. Lurking Informant is our Lantern of Insight. Alright, activates Razia, sure. Pass the turn. So we know our opponent's drawing a useless land. They can't really damage us. We can use Tidewater Minion to untap Lurking Informant to make sure our opponent doesn't draw anything relevant. Opponent passes. So mill our opponent. There goes a Moloch. We draw Swamp. All right, activate Lurking Informant. Opponent can keep the planes. Pass the turn. So now we just start tapping and untapping Entrancer. Opponent plays a land. And passes. So we're milling for a turn? I feel like it seems pretty unlikely that we lose from here. We should be able to make our opponent draw nothing the rest of this game. Almost exactly like Lantern Control, actually. Alright, opponent's down to 15 cards. Eh, we'll use black mana. So target our opponent. Mill Sky Knight. <sighs> we can't let our opponent get a draw that we don't know about. We can sacrifice with Thought Picker. What do we sack? It would have to be Lore Broker. I guess we can play a Swamp, play Circu, and then just sacrifice Circu. So Exile, leave the Mountain on top. Pass the turn. All right. We're super close. Can we just win next turn is the question. I think. I think we can mill our opponent out next turn. Not that there's a huge rush. So, Entrancer our opponent. Untap Entrancer. <laughs> this is exactly Lantern Control Unlimited. Mill our opponent. Untap. We draw an island. So, start with Lurking Informant. All right, we'll just we'll just wait. I think we could win right here, but I think letting our opponent draw land and then just entrancer, untap entrancer, 
then there's no sacking our creatures, no counting or anything. This just guarantees that we win the game. Opponent passes. So, mill our opponent down to five. Oh, we actually get to win right away. Untap and Trancer. Mill our opponent down to three. Sacrifice Informant. Exile something. Sacrifice Entrancer. Exile something. Sacrifice Thought Picker Witch. Exile the last card. Lore Broker makes both draw, and we got there. <laughs> Lantern Control in Limited. Well, on to the finals. <laughs> Sweet! Thanks for watching the video! If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free, and you can find the next video right here!